Dig it. I'll tell you what, there's nothing worse than a Steeler fan. They're the most self-righteous, indignant <laughs> that have ever walked the earth. He is Super Bowl champion. Your daddy did? Yeah. What's your name? Corey Nelson. Corey Nelson? Hey, I'm Gary Nelson. Nice to meet you. Thank, yeah, thank you for coming. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. This is Garrett Olson with Fango Media here outside of Empower Field at Mile High. I am here for the Denver Broncos home opener against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, week one, the Broncos were in Seattle, and uh, the results were not what we were hoping. And then uh, they seem to carry over here again uh, at home against the Steelers. Uh, offense is lackluster, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get, see if we can get some more folks here to, to get some reactions. You know what? We got a tough season ahead of us. We got some rebuilding to do, but um, Bo Nix is doing a good job. You know, he's a young little rookie. He's going to he's gonna perform. You know, we can't always stay on top, but we're Bronco fans forever. You know what? Go Broncos! All right, what I think of the game, um, I don't think the Steelers played that well, and I'm a Steelers fan, but the Broncos played really bad, so that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Uh, it was just an ugly game all around. I wish I would have seen more action, more sacks. I don't know, touchdown passes from either side, but yeah. I got to give the Broncos fans credit for that. None of them were rude. None of them came at me. So, yeah, thank you, Broncos fans. Let's go. Come on down. All the way from Arkansas. I'm frontier to watch the Broncos lose. And you flew from Arkansas today to come watch this game? Yep, yep, yep. I'm sorry. Um, I'm not really happy with the team right now. Yeah, do you think they're going to be able to turn it around? No. It was a good W for the Steelers. Russell Wilson walked the sideline really well. <laughs> uh, they said he wasn't allowed in the house anymore because he didn't have toilet paper. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I'm disappointed again. No, I think, uh, I think Bo's got some growing to do. And I'm all behind him, 100. That's good. You think he's gonna think he's gonna grow up this year? Yes, I'm thinking. In, in the next, Come on in. we're season ticket holders, so yes, I will be watching him. Let's see. Ooh yeah, I dig it. I'll tell you what. There's nothing worse than a Steeler fan. They're the most self-righteous, indignant <laughs> that have ever walked the earth. The only thing worse is Nebraska fans. What, what, what about Raiders fans? They've been living under the stairs for so long. Who cares about Raider fans? <laughs> All I have to say is Knicks for six, and I believe. With Bo Nix, they're not really helping their rookie quarterback. A lot of drop passes again, second week in a row. Uh, don't like to see that. Also, second week in a row, you throw a pick in the end zone. It's better to hold on to the ball and get three points, and that was the game right there. So defense looked really good again. And uh, didn't give up a lot of points, uh, but didn't get any tur turnovers either. So, got to keep uh, keep plugging away. Hopefully, receivers can catch a ball or two, and we'll keep keep pushing forward. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. I'm, I'm, I'm walking away. I, I expected more sparks from Bo Nix. Sure. Uh, Justin Fields, it's just, got a long way to go. A long way to go. So, we'll see what, what happens with uh, Wilson. You know what I mean? So, Do you prefer Wilson over Fields? Right now, I prefer anybody over him. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna. This nice guy, he's doing the best he can, but he's just. We're gonna lose a lot of games scoring 13 points. One of the most frustrating games I've seen, and I've been watching Steeler football for 55 years. You know what I mean? It's one of the worst games I've seen, and they won, which is amazing. Pretty good, man. Uh, the defense showed up today, of course, and uh, offense looked a little better than kicking field goals. I got to say that. I am. The stat guy. Like, the, the stat guy? Like your stat yeah, I'm encyclopedia? A sport, I'm a sports management major, so that's like what I do yeah, nice. like my entire time. I don't really know what to say about the game. It feels like one bad decision just in the, in the pick in the end zone just kind of snowballed. snowballed into a 10-point swing and then couldn't do anything running the ball. You can't can't set up an offense. So, What, what did the stadium feel like after, after you threw that pick? Uh, it felt like like the crowd after the trick play. Like it felt like everyone was finally getting back into it, and then it just literally sucked all the wind out of the stadium. Just... Complete silence after that. You notice people start getting up, and then defense. Defense didn't play bad at all. PS2 didn't have the best game, but he's he's the best in the league. Sometimes best in the league even have bad days. But defense did what they could. The offense just got to get the boost. You're you're a stats guy. So how do you feel about Alvin Kamara having more, probably more yards, definitely more touchdowns than the entire Broncos team uh, so far this year? I am absolutely shocked by the Saints so far. They've just put an absolute beating on both the teams they've played. Like an absolute beatdown. 
And today, yeah, Alvin Kamara went absolutely crazy. He's very happy about it. He's on his fantasy team. <laughs> yeah. But I looked and I was like, man, yeah, I, was like, I don't know what's in the water in New Orleans this year, but they want to play that at Super Bowl in that home stadium. Are there any ownable Broncos in fantasy football this year? It's the hard thing. The defense, I don't know if that counts, though. The defense <laughs> The defense looked good. Defense looked good, but uh, yeah. I would say Sutton, but he didn't produce today. But, again, not much you can do throwing the ball when you can't set up the run. And if Bo Nix is your leading rusher with 25 yards, that's that. Preston, what did you think of the game, buddy? It was crazy. It was so good. Yeah, it was good? Are you a Broncos fan? Yes. He used to play. He used to play. He is Super Bowl champion. Your daddy did? Yeah. What's your name? Corey Nelson. Corey Nelson? Hey, I'm Gerald. Nice to meet you. Thank, yeah, thank nice you for coming. So who's your, who's your favorite Bronco of all time? Oh, uh, my dad. Okay, that was a good answer. That was a test. That was a good answer. What do you think of the team, man? What do you think? Yeah, man, um, I feel like, you know, that the defense played great today. Uh, special teams was pretty good. It's just offense couldn't really get the ball going, you know. Quarterback Nick got rushed a few times, and um, yeah, it just kind of hurt us. Man, it was interesting. I, I watched the game from home, and the first half, we just struggled mightily. And then the second half, come out at the eight-minute mark, we hit a 23-yard, then a 50-yard. And then what was the stadium like when he threw the pick in the end zone? You know, f yeah, the fans went crazy. Yeah, you know, and no, nobody liked it. But at the same time, like you said, in the second half, things got better, and, and the fans got involved, and momentum was shifting. It's just that I feel like we just needed more time, you know, but – Unfortunately, it's a football game, so you know time isn't of the essence. Do you think uh, think they're going to come around this year, or think they needed a this is a, a rebuild year? No, I, th I think it's still time to come around. You know, it's still an early, early season. You know, we still have a lot of growth. It's still the first part of the season, so you know it's a lot of things that can still be changed and adjustments made. Um, I feel like the Broncos got a good team though, so I feel like they'll they'll do pretty well. You know, just they have to make sure that they get the numbers right. You know, both offensively, defensively, and special teams wise, and um, see where things go from there. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, that will conclude our coverage here at Empire Field at Mile High. Got a lot of good stuff. Uh, we, we saw a former Bronco player, former Super Bowl ch uh, champion, Corey Nelson, gave us his thoughts. His son gave us his thoughts. Uh, talked to a lot of happy Steelers fans. Even uh, even though they got the win, though, some of them were a little upset. Uh, a lot of uh, upset Broncos fans with some optimism. Um, so, again, this is Garrett Olson. You can follow me on X at Gary O48. Uh, and uh, please subscribe. We've got Fango Media. We got a, a member uh, for every single um, NFL team who will be at every single home game. And uh, we want to capture the fans' thoughts. Thank you guys and have a great night.